The largest ever recorded hole in the ozone, located in the Arctic, that had developed two weeks ago due to conditions involving a polar vortex, is reported by scientists to be closing. The hole stretched to over 386,000 square miles, taking up an area bigger than Texas, the largest of its kind since nearly a decade ago in 2011. While the rapid healing of the layer was not caused by the recent quarantines due to the COVID-19 virus, scientists do believe that the extreme reduction of air pollution in areas such as China will allow the ozone to begin a recovery in those areas. The LA Mayor's Office has been talking about opening up a training facility early for the Lakers players. The NBA also announced that they would allow teams to begin voluntary workouts on May 8th. On May 8th, if the players returned, there would only be four allowed in the facility at one time, and they would have to answer questions from a medical professional before being granted access to the building. The U.S. is monitoring the North Korea leader King Jong-un who had a procedure and is in grave danger. Officials started noticing King Jong-un misses family events, dinner parties, and gatherings because of his health condition. The U.S. is monitoring his health. A five-year-old girl named Skylar Herbert died in hospital on Sunday due to complications of the coronavirus. She was taken to Bumata Royal Hospital after being put on a ventilator for two weeks. She was tested last month and she was positive, but there was swelling to her brain and she died. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Sam, so just want to make you aware that today you want to enjoy the weather. It's going to be 59, sunny, a little bit of clouds. However, the next three days we're going to see definitely a fair amount of rain. The rain's supposed to kind of come in tomorrow night, um, even though the weather, the temperature's going to be about uh, the low 60s, and it's going to stretch all the way through Thursday and Friday. So, that being said, get outside. Enjoy the sun a little bit, um, soak in some of those rays uh, because the next couple of days it's going to be cloudy and rainy. Um, but the upside is it is going to be high 50s, low 60s, so at least we got that going for us. Steven Refis is the fifth player to announce he will return to Syracuse Men's Lacrosse along with goalie Drake Porter, coverman Nick Mellon, Jamie Tromboli, Peter Dirth, and Danny Valerio. The team will head into 2021 with nine returning players in the starting lineup for next season. I'm Isabel Schwartz.